I'm Darren Dowling, team lead of the Dowling Group at Beyond Realty, and today we're going to cover the key factors affecting home affordability today. Let's jump into it. Every time there's a new segment about the housing market, we hear about the affordability challenges buyers are facing today. Those headlines are focused on how much mortgage rates have climbed this year. And while it's true rates have risen dramatically, it's important to remember they aren't the only factor in the affordability equation. Here are three measures used to establish home affordability. Home prices, mortgage rates, and wages. Let's look closely at each one. Number one, mortgage rate. This is the factor most people are focused on when they talk about home buying conditions today. So far, current rates are almost four full percentage points higher than they were at the beginning of the year. As Len Kiefer, Deputy Chief Economist at Freddie Mac explains, quote, US 30 year fixed mortgage rates have increased 3.83 percentage points since the end of last year. That's the biggest year to date increase in rates over 50 years. That increase in mortgage rates is impacting how much it costs to finance a home purchase, creating a challenge for many buyers that's pricing some out of the market. While the current global uncertainty makes it difficult to project where mortgage rates will go in the future, experts do say rates will likely remain high as long as inflation does. Number two, home prices. The second factor at play is home prices. Home prices have made headlines over the past few years because they skyrocketed during the pandemic. Now, the most recent home price index from SNP Case Schiller shows some values continue to decelerate for the fifth consecutive month, shown in green in this graph. This deceleration is happening because higher mortgage rates are moderating demand and as a result, easing the buyer competition and bidding wars that previously drove prices up. What's worth noting though, is how much higher home prices still are than they were before the pandemic. Here you can see it in the graph in blue. When both mortgage rates and home prices are high, affordability and your purchasing power become a greater challenge. But while prices are still elevated in many markets, some areas are seeing slight declines. It all depends on your local market. For insight into what's happening in your area, reach out to a trusted real estate professional like myself. Number three, wages. One big positive component in the affordability equation is the increase in American wages. In this graph, it uses data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics to show how wages have grown over time. This year is no exception. As the Bureau of Labor Statistics reports, quote, median weekly earnings of the nation's 120.2 million full-time wage and salary workers were $1,070 in the third quarter of 2022. The US Bureau of Labor Statistics reported this was 6.9% higher than a year earlier. So when you think about affordability, remember the full picture includes more than just mortgage rates. Home prices and wages need to be factored in as well because wages have been rising. They're a big reason why serious buyers are still purchasing homes this year. If you have any questions or want to learn more, reach out to a trusted advisor who can explain how all of these variables work together and what's happening in your area. As Leslie Ruder Smith, president of the National Association of Realtors says, quote, buying or selling a home involves a series of requirements and variables, and it's important to have someone in your corner from start to finish to make the process as smooth as possible and objectivity to deliver trusted expertise to consumers in every US zip code. Ladies and gents, here's the bottom line. To learn more, let's get together and make sure you have a trusted mortgage professional so you're able to make an informed decision if you're planning to buy or sell a home right now. That's all we've got time for in this episode. So as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next week.